Yeah, we're back up to 14 degrees inside. It's all right. It's all right. Got some potatoes left. It's the third of winter. Mm, I mean, it ain't great food-wise, but we'll get there. That blight kind of fucked us. Also, the fact that we don't have any refrigeration is pretty scary. What? What was that? Prison break. All right. Bye, dude. He finally made it. Well done, him. I do like the way Muffalo One just chills in here. Wool? Oh shit, yeah, they get wool, of course. God, the Muffalos are amazing. We got a lot of silver. We got a lot of milk, actually. Can you make, like, milkshakes or something? Soup. Ah, pemmican. <laughs> I fucking hate pemmican. Gotta make a few more parkers. That one's nearly done. A beaver skin parker. Very nice. Solar flare. We got no electrical devices. Ha! Take that! Oh, Christ! Hot cocoa! From space! Gonzalo's been attacked! Lewis is cowering in terror! Oh my god, it's gonna kill Gonzalo the cat! Oh, Gonzalo's on for. Get him, Ebenezer! Oh, man. Oh, he's, he's done for. Oh, he's had his legs torn off. He's not worth saving. Bonded animal's death. Darius is pissed off now. Oh, Gonzalo died. Look, I'm sorry, we just couldn't get there in time. There was no point. Once he'd lost two legs, what's the point? Honestly. Yep, cut him up. Eat him. Get that hot cocoa. <laughs> How does it stay hot? Not just cocoa, but hot cocoa. They're just not interested in eating the... the, the the cocoa and all that. Kind of surprising. Ah, meerkat got food poisoning. Honestly, meerkat should not have been eating our veggie mush, to be quite frank. I don't even know why. Do we even have a meerkat? No. What do I care? Oh, wait. Meerkat's one of the dudes. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I thought it was a meerkat. <laughs> I'm paying attention. Was it? Must be time. Middle stage still. Everybody's asleep. We had one Parker down. We need one more Parker for Lax. Fifth of winter. It's not growing. What are we researching again? What was that? Idle, huh? I'll just get back to work. I guess just not much for Lewis to do. Haul away these rocks. That'll give me something to do. Because we're going to turn all this into valuable stone blocks. So if you want something to do, there you go. Do that. Oh Christ. Manhunter pack. Oh my god. Triple boom rat? Alright, we got trouble. Darius, uh, you had a weapon. Did you drop it in your room? There's the jade dagger. What are your skills, Lewis? He's a good shot. All right, you can have the uh, the short bow. I right, get ready, team. Got a pack of boom rats coming in. Triple threat. Here they come.
Right, this is danger. This is pure, unadulterated hazard. Get him! Jesus Christ, team! Run, Darius! Get that muffalo! Put out that fire! Oh, it's just bizarrely not considered a home zone. That's utterly bonkers. Alright, now we're going to have to do something about this one. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good job, good job, good firefighting team. That was quality shit. How's Darius doing health-wise? Minor blood loss. Uh, he's been shot. I don't know how that happened. Hey, he appears to be been shot by an assault rifle, Drew. Do you know anything about that? No? What are you talking about? <laughs> assault rifle? I don't think this boom rats had assault rifles. Did they? Did they? Yeah, actually, you know what? I think they did. I think they did, guys. Those boom rats had assault rifles. Isn't that crazy? God, it's almost unbe unbelievable, isn't it? Whew. Damn you, Drew. Poor old Darius. He's been in the wars, man. He's still not lost a limb. That's pretty good. Darius is in danger. He's in... He's urgently hungry. It's alright. We'll get you some food in the morning. Someone will get you some food. Get you some meatballs. Some milk. Hot cocoa? Oh, he just goes and eats himself. Mmm, delicious. Oh, Jesus! Flash storm! Yo! Christ on the bike! Oh, nutsacks. You guys are such diligent firefighters. You're kind of missing the fact that someone's house is burning down. Alright, good, good control, good control, good control. Keep it, keep it. Yep, stay on top, stay on top. That's good. Having some meatballs? Uh oh. A counselor named Odette Odom. She's been chased by pirates. She begs for safety. She's 22. She sounds hot. We offer her safety. What's she like? Character. She's very neurotic. She's abrasive. She won't cook. She won't fight fires. She won't do anything scary. How can she be abrasive but also have 12? Oh, she's a good doctor anyway. We'll take it. How bad is the people following her? That's the question. Oh my goggle. Alright, this could be the end of days. Um... All right, we need to think about this. Ah, oh, there's a friggin' fire on as well. Doesn't help. Come on, start raining, son of a bitch.
Oh, Jesus! God, these lines have mean business. Run, Lux, run! Go get Swigard. Actually, just hide. Run, Darius! Jesus. God, these lads are tough as nails! Oh god, they, they've knocked three of us down! One down, one down! Oh my god! We should have said no! Lewis, get the machine gun! Oh, they're leaving! Still got fire, Rage 2! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez. All right, we're going glitter world. We're going gl full glitter world medicine. Oh man. Rain, please. Oh man, alive severe illness. Drew is Oh my god, Odom down. Rescue Odom! Lewis, rescue Drew! Ah! Oh, Lux died! Oh boy, this fire though. Ebenezer's on fire! I can't save you, Ebenezer. Oh! There's a dog running around on fire! His right foot's been shot off. He's lost his arm. He's gonna die in an hour. Get the medicine, Odom! Oh, don't drink milk! Oh, he died! Oh my god, the fire! The muffalos are leaving! Oh, that storm. I should have just said no, man. I should have said no. Oh, boy. There's no coming back from this, gang. We've lost everything. Ebenezer down. Get the fire out on Ebenezer the dog. Can't stand it anymore. Roof collapse, yeah, I bet. Good God. Odom is being burned by superheated air. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty hot here. Mental break, berserk. Uh, Lewis has gone berserk. I can't take it anymore! Wow. 
Well, you know, just, just Rimworld things. You make one slightly questionable decision, and uh, and yeah, everybody's burning to death. I don't even care. Antelopes drinking milk. It's pretty rough. Pretty rough. My god. Now Jose's on fire. Noazette is down. Odom, down. Lewis, on fire. Very seriously on fire. Oh. I'm just kind of curious to, to watch it all burn down. One little flash storm and the entire place gets burned to the ground. Oh my god! Wow, what blew up? I'm trying to think what, what the fire hit. The EMP grenades? Well, that's that. Lewis is dead. Odom is burning and there's no one to rescue her. What a disaster. That was all Svegard's fault. A male scavenger of the donkey men. I knew the donkey men would be our undoing. I knew it. And they were. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of RimWorld. Um, we knew this was coming. We knew that it was all going to end like this. Uh, it's what what RimWorld does. Everything's fine and peaceful, and then it chucks, chucks some brutal shit at you. I think the tribal thing is kind of fun. I quite like it. Um, I quite like it. If we carried on playing, we could wait and someone else would turn up, but honestly, uh, I think this is a good end to the story. Um, and it's a good end to the story, so I'm just gonna... Noisette is still alive, just about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it there, um, and we'll do another one next time, I think. I quite like Lone Survivor, because you start with turrets, and then you just have to hope that people join you. Um, but you have to do so much stuff yourself, it's kind of difficult. Um, but it is kind of cool. Lone Survivor starts with a charge rifle and the knowledge to build turrets, so you can build a little sort of one-man Ron Swanson-style cabin um, that is quasi-impenetrable, which is kind of fun. Um, I think the only problem I have with the tribal stuff is we I wanted to build loads of stuff, like we would have had loads more by this point. Uh, so I think the early game is quite a bit easier on tribal because you, you have a heat source and a, a cooler and, and you, you can get past the heat wave and you can get past the winter, um, but it just takes so long to uh and also they tend to be ascetic so they don't really want fancy bedrooms um so you can get through that early stage quite easily but um i mean i should have just said no and just dealt with the fire and everything would have been fine but um i just thought it was a little fire we'll be fine it'll be like a couple of guys we'll deal with them we'll put the fire out no problem but instead it was like a crack assault team uh who were impervious to damage had a rocket launcher or incendiary launcher and just took us all out way too fast. Um, without turrets, it's really hard because the turrets tend to... They focus on the turrets um, instead of on us. And this time, of course, they just focused on us. Tough game. Tough game. Anyway, we'll be back. Thank you for watching this playthrough uh, of RimWorld. Um, it was a good one. It was very peaceful. Pretty boring for 95% of it. And then all of a sudden, a uh, massacre. Um, so I know that these aren't the most popular videos, but I hope the people that, that do watch them enjoyed them. I'll do another one soon. Peace out.